Good day everyone. I am Marilyn Ubasa and for today, I am going to analyze an image or media text. So we are tasked to choose one image among the three images and I chose this image. So in analyzing this picture, I will focus on five key questions. These are Number one, who created this message or the authorship of the message? Number two, what creative techniques are used to attract my attention or the format of the message? 3. How might other people understand this message differently than me or the audience of the message? Number 4. What lifestyles, values, and point of view are represented in or omitted from this message or the content of the message? And number 5. Why was this message sent or what is the purpose of this message? Let's try to analyze this picture. For the first question, who created this message? This includes questions like what kind of text is it, what are the various elements, which technology are used in its creation, and how many people did it take to create this message. So for me, the picture is a kind of media text because as we can see at the picture, it has message to inform people. It uses text and image, which is the element that make up the whole media text, that is to inform and persuade. The creator of this media text are entrepreneurs or businessmen because we can see at the lower part of the media text, there is a name of a business which is the BIC. The creators of this message use technology like computers for editing, camera, and any other equipment for the creation of this media text. And I think there are 3 to 7 people in creating this message. For the question number 2, what creative techniques are used to attract my attention? This includes questions like what do you notice in the media text, what is the camera angle, and what creative language are used in the message. Let's take a look again to a picture. What attracts me the most is the picture of a woman and the text look like a girl, act like a lady, think like a man, work like a boss. What comes in my mind first when I see it is that it is about women empowerment. The way the image is constructed, I notice the clothing, lightning and color of the media text the color used is light colors means calmness it uses creative language which is the use of colors that create different feelings and in the picture it portrays hope fulfillment and empower women when it comes to camera angle it is medium close up which convey intimacy the creator of this media text uses powerful text that convey women empowerment that increases our appreciation and enjoyment of media as a constructed text it makes it real because the idea of the author to communicate is a construct of reality. For the question number 3, how might other people understand this message differently? It talks about the audience which is very important in media text. My interpretation in this media text is that the creators advertise their product for women which is lighter and the company are committed to support women empowerment which I learned in this media text. I have different interpretation about this media text and other people have different interpretation because we have different perspectives. For me, other people understand this message in a way that the message is about the celebration of Women's Day because of the hashtag Happy Women's Day written in the media text. It may also interpreted as how to be a business woman because of the text itself. For the question number 4, what lifestyles, values, and point of view are represented in or omitted from this message? It is about the content of the media message. As the media text depicted, the authors advertise their products to women. So the reader, watcher, or listener of this media text are women. The idea is that being sold to us in this media text is about women empowerment as well as the products for women. And for me, the ideas or perspective left out or missing in this media text is that since the author advertised their products, why didn't they show the product in their media text? For the question number 5, why was this message sent? This includes questions like who's in control of the creation of this message? Why are they sending it? Who are they sending it to? And who is served by or benefits from the message? So the purpose of this message is to inform, persuade, and entertain people. The authors of this message are the one who is in control to the creation and transmission of the message. And of course, they are also the one who are sending it. They are sending it to the public, specifically women, who also benefits from the message. And that's it for my picture analysis. Thank you for watching.